Hey everyone, this is Imi Chicken from Team Pandori, and today we have a review on the Air Attack 3. Let's open her up. Magic. Stomp! Oh, oh no! Ah! Okay, let's try it again. Stomp! Yeah, let's try a magic slam! We got a box. Nice color. It's apparently a Pandora game. Hmm. Let's have a quick peruse of the manual. I think I've seen that green screen somewhere else. Is it the Pandora Games 3? 4? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, according to the back, it says this has... Arm Cortex A8, 1 GHz, Arm Mali 400, and for memory, it's 2 gigabits, which is 256 megabytes. What you do need is this jammer harness here. We'll explain later. Let's check out the box itself. So we have a settings button, a volume rolly wheel, VGA output, a label, and then we have the jammer edge. Not many options for connectivity. As the manual did say, CRT compatibility. Let's try it. Uh, Google Translate. Nah. So this is how we're going to connect the Air Attack 3. On the side, we will use the VGA out. We're going to hook up a monitor. Any monitor. It'll have a smiley face on it because all of mine do. Everything else, we'll use the Jammer Edge. So if we check out my lovely drawing, at the bottom we have the power supply. This will deliver power to our Air Attack 3. It might set us back around $10. But if you already have a jammer based arcade cabinet, you're sorted. All the other pins, they'll need to be connected to some controls. There's no USB ports on this system, so I'm gonna have to deal with it, guy. The sound will also come from the jammer edge. Traditionally, jammer edge only has mono sound, giving us two cables, having one as ground and one as audio signal. Some may give us left and right, but I'm just gonna hook this up to here, and then hook plus up to here uh, and here. The top two pins of the speaker jack are for left and right audio, and the bottom is for ground. That's gonna go to the amp, and I'll have left and right speakers working as mono. And to make things a lot easier for ourselves, we're gonna use a jammer harness. If you don't have an arcade cab with jammer already, you may need to buy one for about 10 bucks. So let's check her out. So, the joystick and the buttons are wired to the harness. We also have an extra set for player two. Power supply goes to the back of the machine. And then the audio is hooked up via these crocodile clips. Let's check out how the system runs. It takes about 10 seconds to load, then we're greeted to the games list. But first, let's check out the settings. We have the IO test. Here we can check all the buttons work correctly. We can change the coins mode. If we wish to quit via menu or start and coin. The auto quit. Select mode for if you want to move the games list without a coin in or not. Difficulty settings. Coin settings. Let's have a quick look through the games list. We have 146 games. Most of them, vertical shooters. Let's see some gameplay. First game we have here is Strikers 1945-3. First thing I've noticed is that the controls are very tight. Controller latency is minimal. And we can actually see pixels. Unfortunately, there is a bilinear filter, so it makes the graphics slightly soft. But it's not too bad.
Dot on patch. Gunbird 2. Super Contra. Guangge. Jackson. No sound for this game means that the main samples are not supported. Ride into Air attack. Let's see what's inside this thing. It's held together by five screws. One is hidden underneath this sticker. You can either peel it off or let's let, let's stab it. Inside the lovely purple case, we get a green PCB. Contrary to the manual, we have an A13 all winner chip. And it's also full of this weird glue. It's like a glue spider's been living in here. It's like gluing the whole uh, glue. Over here, we have the micro SD. What do you know? It's a Chan disk, 8 gigabytes. If you put this into a Windows machine, we can only see one partition. So the Air Attack 3 is a Linux-based machine, and we cannot add or remove any games. Let's get to the pros and cons. This has lag-free controls, pixels you can actually see, and a fairly smooth graphical scrolling. There can be issues with connectivity, slowdown, 
and some emulation problems. But on the whole, the Air Attack 3, hell yeah. This is a cheap and cheerful arcade tate box. This has been Emi Chicken from Team Pandori, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-ra.